Diarrhea in chicken is one of the major challenges that is facing a lot of poultry farmers. Therefore, on this video, I am going to discuss on major causes of diarrhea and how we are going to treat this diarrhea using an organic treatment at home. So, diarrhea is usually watery and has a full smell, that is a bad smell. While the normal poop of chickens is usually white and brown in color. So, before we get into what causes this diarrhea, I would like to request you kindly subscribe to this channel and kindly like this video because it takes a lot of time, effort and money to create such kind of videos. Kindly do me that favor and like this video. So, what are the major causes of diarrhea in chicken? The first thing is that your chicken may be, may be infested by worms, viruses, bacteria, kidney damage, all the feeds also may contain very high amount of protein or even may have a poor feeding program. So one of those channel, so one of these factors may cause your chickens to have a diarrhea. And when you talk about the bacteria and the viruses that may cause this chicken, it is quite important for you to differentiate because you have different kind of bacteria and viruses which may cause different kind of diseases in your chickens. And these illnesses are the coccidiosis, fall cholera, Marek disease, Newcastle and Gumbolo. And when you want to treat these diseases, you have to differentiate one from the other. So how do you differentiate coccidiosis? So coccidiosis, you may see that the poop or the diarrhea usually have a bloody color. So it should so it will be red. Also the chicken may, may put the head down and may have lafford feathers. And also this usually causes death in chicks. So that is about coccidiosis. So what about fall cholera? Fall cholera may differentiate this when the the chicken is diarrhea. Also the chicken may have a brew water and comb. And in terms of diarrhea, the diarrhea is usually very severe and the chicken may lose appetite. And you should know that this fall cholera, or yeah, the fall cholera has no any kind of treatment. So if your chickens become sick with this fall cholera, you're supposed to bury them very deep or you can burn them. So the only way you can save your birds is to vaccinate them before they become sick. Never vaccinate your chickens after they have become sick. Always vaccinate before they become sick because that may result to very, very severe, you know, very severe disease when you vaccinate your chickens when they are already, already sick. So the other illness that may cause diarrhea is Malex disease. And this usually occurs at around 16 weeks. And how you can differentiate the diarrhea of Malex from the other kind of disease is that the chicken may experience paralysis on one wing or and the leg or that paralysis may also occur in both both the legs and the wings and also this has no treatment because it's a viral disease and this disease usually you know this vaccine that is usually given to the chickens especially from the hatcheries so I don't think that these marex may affect your chickens if you've gotten them from a very reputable hatchery. So you have to ensure that you have a very good hygienic hygiene condition at your farm so that you reduce chances of this marex disease affecting your chickens. So the other so the other disease is the Newcastle disease. This Newcastle disease, the diarrhea is usually green. So that's how you're going to differentiate this kind of diarrhea. And also Newcastle may make your chicken have a very high mortality rate so the chickens will die in a very high rate for example in the morning you may find that you have you know you're going to collect two chickens that may be you know that may have died and in the afternoon you may find that you collect ten after in the evening maybe you collect like 15 or 20 so that's when you know that this is a newcastle disease and also the poop may be green and also you may see that the chicken has a uh, respiratory distress so they'll be breathing in difficulty and the final disease is the gumboro and this gumboro also causes the diarrhea and it surely occurs at two to six weeks old 
and how, do, how are you going to differentiate this diarrhea of gumbolo is that the chicken will have a trembling head so the head will be shaking you know so that's how you're going to differentiate so for coccidiosis you have seen that is the the diarrhea will be red for fall cholera the diarrhea will be there but you're going to differentiate by the brew waters and comb marex you're going to see paralysis of either one or both of the wings and rex newcastle it will be a green diarrhea and the rate of death will be high and now gumboro the head will be trembling as well as presence of diarrhea so how are we going to treat this diarrhea in our chicken there are several ways you know for a short period of time you can remove the feeds and there you may see that the diarrhea might go away also for also for another thing for it's kind of a treatment and a prevention is that especially when you have a change in weather or where the chicken are staying the development always ensure that you know give them access to clean water and this water should also have presence of vitamins and electrolytes and you should note do not give electrolytes continuously because this may cause irritation to your chickens which may cause diarrhea so maybe your chickens does not have any either of the requests that you said so the only challenge is that maybe you're giving them excess electrolytes so we are supposed to remove the, the electrolytes so what is the treatment that you're going to use this organic treatment so you're going to take a jug of water and this water is one gallon one gallon of water and there you're going to mix eight tablespoons of sugar a half a tablespoon of salt a half a tablespoon of baking soda and you're going to stir very well and then give to your chickens so how do you prevent because you have discussed the treatment the causes what is the treatment that you're going to use so that you prevent better so that you can prevent this diarrhea from occurring through our chickens we have only one prevention that is biosecurity and this biosecurity comes in several ways you're going to ensure that you have a foot bath at the door of your chicken so that prevent entry of diseases and this foot bath the water inside the foot bath water and the chemical should be changed each and every week the other you know prevention is that when you bring a new chicken or a new set of hens frog into your farm you're supposed to quarantine them for at least two weeks so that you see if they have any kind of disease before you release them or you make them join to the rest of the frog so always quarantine your chickens before you you know before you mix them with the rest of your chickens and the final which is very very important always ensure that you vaccinate the chickens against you know the fall cholera the marex the newcastle and the gumbola because those are the diseases you've seen that usually cause diarrhea and they have a vaccination which you can adapt and i believe that you're going to prevent it diarrhea in your chickens so i hope that i've covered each and every aspect of diarrhea in chicken and how you can treat it at your farm and if you think i missed something kindly let me know in the comments below and i hope to see you on this video on your screen right now on how i'll be showing you how to carry out the brooding process very well on my next channel bet dominic on that channel i usually react to how farmers are carrying out their farming practices so See you there on how to brood your chickens. Bye!